Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a logarithmic spiral. The logarithmic spiral can be distinguished from the Archimedean spiral by the fact that the distances between the turnings of a logarithmic spiral increase in geometric progression, while in an Archimedean spiral these distances are constant. So the first step is to draw an xy axis. First of all, you draw a horizontal axis, and next we are going to draw the vertical axis slightly to the right of center, as can be seen here in the video. They will cut each other at a point that we will call O, the origin. The next step is to draw a diagonal line AB, as can be seen here. The only important criteria of this line AB is that the distance OA is shorter than the distance OB. The line segment OB divided by OA is going to determine the constant of the geometric progression of the spiral. The next step we are going to draw a perpendicular line to the line segment AB until it cuts our vertical axis at a new point C. The next step, we are going to draw a perpendicular line to the line segment BC until it cuts our horizontal axis at a new point D, as can be seen here. Now we draw a perpendicular line segment CD until it cuts our vertical axis again at a new point E. Now we're going to continue this process, drawing a perpendicular line to our line segment CD from the point E until it cuts our horizontal axis at a new point F, as can be seen here. And continuing again, we draw a, we're going to draw a perpendicular line to the line segment DE from point F until it cuts our vertical axis at a point G, as can be seen here. And finally, again, we're going to draw a perpendicular line to the line segment EF from the point G, until it cuts our horizontal axis at a point H. as can be seen here. So the next step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of all the previous line segments and the angular bisector of the right angles that we have just drawn. So let's start with the line segment AB, setting our compass on the point A and setting it to a length slightly more than half of the segment and scribe an arc above and below the line segment as can be seen here. Now setting the compass on point B with the same radius, we scribe another arc until it cuts the previous arc above and below the line and elongating it until it cuts the line segment BC. Where it cuts the line segment AB and the line segment BC are going to be the new centers for our next two arcs, which we use to calculate the angular bisector. Now the final step of this process is with blue lines we are going to draw the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB and the angular bisector of the angle B as shown here. And these two blue lines intersect at a new point which we will call 1. This will be the center point of the first arc of the spiral. So the next step is to repeat the process with the remaining line segments and the angles they form. The perpendicular bisector of BC cuts to the angular bisector B at a new center, which we will call number two. 
So the next step is to repeat this process with CD and angle D. You might notice that all the angular bisectors are parallel to the original angular bisector B, which could be another method to work out the angular bisectors of D and F, but we are going to continue with the original method. Because we are going to repeat the same process over and over, we speed up the video for this part until we worked out all the line segment bisectors and every second angular bisector to obtain our seven new center points of the spiral arcs. Oh, as you can see here, it's just going faster. We're working out the perpendicular bisectors of each line segment and also the angular bisector of each 90 degree angle. Now that we have our seven center points, we can start drawing our spiral with a thicker line. So setting the compass on the point 1 and radius 1a, we scribe an arc until it cuts point B. As shown here. So setting the compass on point 2 and radius 2b, we scribe an arc until it cuts point C. So now you can see our spiral starting to form. Next, setting the compass on point 3 and radius 3C, we scribe an arc until it cuts the point D. As can be seen here. Next, setting the compass on point 4 and radius 4D, we scribe an arc until it cuts the point E. Now you can really see our spiral starting to take shape. And we continue this process. Setting the compass on point 5 and radius 5e, we scribe an arc until it cuts the point F. So setting the compass on point 6 and radius 6f, we scribe an arc until it cuts the point G. This can be seen here. And finally, setting our compass on point 7 and radius 7G, we scribe an arc until it cuts the point H. And if we have been working with precision and accuracy, it should cut exactly at the point H, as can be seen here. So 
So here we have our logarithmic spiral. I hope you enjoyed the video. Press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.